Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play. I've just been flying around in my Zeppelin and I've found some sheep at long last. I also found some chickens and returned them home off camera. So that's nice. Now let's pick up these sheep. And I have to be careful because it's near one of these things. And they're spawning. And I don't have the proper gear to raid it, because when I go on Zeppelin adventures, I don't gear up. Get off of that wall! Alright, whatever. I think we can get those... Oop, oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. Gotta keep your interest. I was thinking about, like, digging. Yeah, you want this. Come on. Maybe there was an error in generating this and there won't be any knights outside. I don't want to get too greedy and die. Okay, these guys are plenty. How are we going to get out? Right, hey. This is more than I can fit on my Zeppelin anyway. You know what, I'm going to bring around the Zeppelin down there. I was hoping to just find them on a plane, not freaking in a forest. I was actually like not even checking in forests, I was just going over the plains and never finding any. And I was starting to think I got a sheepless world. And I was like blaming mo creatures and stuff, because I don't know. Whenever some, whenever I'm having trouble finding something, I get paranoid and say maybe it was because of the mods. No, I can't park up here. Like when I couldn't find an NPC village, and I did just find another one off camera also. So, one of my next adventures will be there, because it's also right near a better dungeon. And they need liberation from those evil rulers of that palace. Oh God, we're taking fire. the thing. Let's go back it. Ow. Ah. Crap. They're too accurate. Come on. Go down. So this is why I started recording, rather than just bring the sheep in. Don't shoot me. Probably needed to build a bigger zeppelin. seem to prefer that I join the zeppelin to the world and then put them on it, otherwise they kind of stand in it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. No. Oops. Should have brought an axe and a shovel. stupid sheep again. Let's go. All you really need is two, because you could breed them, but I want a lot, because the next decorations that I have in mind will require a lot of wool. Hey. Come on. Come on. Ah, whoop. I just woke up, so apologize for the lack of energy. Or interesting commentary or whatever. Alright, nice. Okay, random lag for a moment there. Yeah, they're not all gonna be able to fit. This is C. 
serious safety hazard. Wow, we retained quite a few of them. Now only 800 blocks from home. Oh god, I'm gonna get pushed off. I'll have the ascent on negative one just so if I do get pushed off, it'll eventually end up on the ground. I've had zeppelins in single player worlds disappear for a while. I've said this before, probably. I've had them just disappear and then I'll find them later. They're like ghost zeppelins. One of them was full of items too. It had a chest or two on it. We're almost home. This is going to be great. We're going to have so many sheep. And chickens. I'm going to have to give the chickens a different farm now. I wasn't really counting on grabbing chickens on that adventure, but I figured I wasn't really finding very many vanilla animals, so I might as well take them. Here we go, home. The chickens are still there. Let's park over here. Hey, hey! This is not a good time to get rambunctious. Actually, it's probably the best time if they were going to push me off earlier, because I would have died. Oh, right. It's about us. Okay, let's go. And they can regrow their wool, so they're eternally useful. Anyway, uh, the audio and video have, for some reason, like gone crazy on the last couple episodes. I don't know if you noticed, but please let me know if you have noticed that, or I don't know, because I thought people would comment more about it, but there was only one person who I think commented about it. Couldn't really tell actually what that was supposed to mean. It was just so I think this episode I'm gonna read some comments and stuff because people have good ideas. Let's just put everything away. Can't put that away. Whatever, I'll hold on to that. Alright, so let's start by grabbing some wool. We're gonna need shears, and I wanna have some bone meal. Just. Ah. So that I can make this sheep like regrow. Oh, and the other thing that I can do is take all of this string. And in this crafting table here, it becomes wool. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good number right there. I'm glad the cows haven't despawned also. Alright. They should run away from shears. Oh wow, already growing your wool back. That's awesome. Now they have more grass to eat. 
I don't know if they actually eat like the green stuff or if they eat tall grass. I'm not sure. It seems like they all regrew their wool, no problem. But I forget which thing it is they eat. They might just eat any old grass. Oh, maybe not. There you go. Wow, this makes sheep so much more productive than they were before. I was so excited when animal breeding first came to Minecraft. It was like the number one thing I wanted to do. Come on, eat. Alright, we have plenty of wool for what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to show you a thing from Battle Gear that um, is still really cool, even though it doesn't. It was gonna be used to like spawn the soldiers that are no longer going to be added, but um, since there are no soldiers, now you can still just use it for decoration. So I'm also gonna grab some lapis. And if you do that and that and that, you get a flag. White banner. And I believe if I mix that with lapis, Blue banner. Oh, that's ugly. Hold on. Um, is there a way to make light blue dye? Yes, let's do that. Because I don't really like that pattern on the flag. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Now, this can be like our town colors. Oh, by the way, another child died off camera. So now our graveyard has three, if you can see that over there. And these would look really nice there. In there. Oh, yes. I like this. This is going to make my town look great. The more decorations I can stick on this here town center, the better. And you can, they bothered to make really nice textures for these for every color. So, maybe I can put some carpet in this place. I don't know. Oh, and you want to hear what that music disc I got in the nether sounds like? Oh, no, no, I can't do that. I think it's going to sound the same anyway. See it? There that is. I'm just going to make a bunch more banners now. Because I'd like to have them. That's why all the wool. That's why I gathered it. episode. Oh, for all I know. Okay, it's only 13 minutes in without doing a whole lot. I'm going to build a farm for one thing. Now where should I put these other flags? Should I just hold on to them for a bit? Or I could put them inside. Just to add a little decoration on these bits. That'll make it look really town center like, unless I like hang it. I'm not sure what I really like right now though. I think that looks alright. We need to get more stuff over on this side though. I'm trying to think about where I should like hang these. I can always make more later. Everything about them is pretty inexpensive now that I have sheep. Oh, that's pretty nice looking. No. Well, Alright, I'll just leave these in my inventory for a bit then. I'm thinking about actually moving the storage building. Because it's kind of... Yeah. Alright, so, what am I gonna make first? I think I'm gonna make a cobble path. 
so we'll just grab some cobblestone. Put more my diamond shovel. And might as well grab a pickaxe in case I miss wait, but where's my pickaxe? Do I not even have a diamond pickaxe? That can't be. Did I die with that or am I like staring at it and not seeing it? Nope. Alright, I'll make a new one. Alright, let's get road building. And I'll also probably regulate where I put torches soon because I don't like having it so random. Oh, look at this, it's hollow. Let's just fix that. This will probably look pretty cool on the minimap one sometime. Alright, so, while doing the boring act of building road, I came up with an interesting way of reading comments without, like, tabbing out or anything. I just took pictures of a bunch of them that I thought had good suggestions or something from my email on my iPod, and so now I can just scroll through those easily. So, um, first up, Roman Smidbursky says I should get some minions in that forest world, which is probably the Twilight Forest, and see how long it would take them to cut down one of those trees. And that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that this episode, or next episode. But I definitely do want to try out how those minions would do on those trees. I thought that would be pretty cool. Maybe I'll build a tree house in one of them someday, too. Never know. Okay, so next comment said, at the top of the castle, oh, by the same guy, at the top of the castle, I bet there's, um, hidden stuff behind the pictures. So, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. When I go, oh, I'm gonna need to get some stairs. When I go to the Twilight Forest with the minions, I'll also just run into the castle and see if I can find any loot hidden behind the stairs. It's back to building. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you want this to be like wider or stuff like that. Whatever you think is cool. I've never been very much of a path building expert. Just something to maybe make this a little bit less random looking as well. Only turn it when we need to and stuff. Because we want this to be kind of an orderly city. Yeah, sure, whatever. branch this way. Alright, and on the invasion stuff, I want to know what you guys think, if we should do another one in the future. Uh, one person, Memo Loke, has said, Mena, Mena, hey, I do not like the invasion stuff. So thanks for your feedback on that. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Um, probably not going to do another invasion unless people really want it. In which case I probably will edit out uh, the boring parts, like for some parts of the last invasion. There was a lot of me standing there hitting stuff and uh, having lag issues. So I can see why that's not very interesting to watch. Alright, um, keep building the path. It's not really showing up on the minimap because it's only one thick. just feels like an upgrade anyway.
There we go. Path complete. Oh, wait. I neglect these houses that I built for my kids. Alright, yeah, the path isn't complete, but it's complete in that direction. Next thing I plan to do is make some improvements near the town center. Uh, do we really need a path to the freaking horses? Nah. Alright, so, improvements around the town center time. Hmm. Maybe we should encircle that with, like, a little cobble path that goes from there. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's sleep. Because I'm not building when the village is just teeming with enemies. And the sheep are being awesome. I noticed that they had a lot of wool regrown. Alright, let's see about other comments. We have... Roman Smidbursky again, you should find a skeleton spawner and then make it an XP farm, plus tons of arrows. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I've actually wanted some kind of mob farm for a little while in this season, but um, my plan actually is to make one of those things where you make like big spawning platforms in the dark and then it, you don't need to find a spawner so I could build it like somewhere over there within the reach of my town, and then I could use the thing more frequently. I actually saw a Let's Play where a guy did this, and he got so much, like, yeah, arrows. He got, like, a chest full of arrows, tons of gunpowder, and I love gunpowder. So, it's definitely a worthwhile thing to do. I just need to touch up on, like, how to do that, make sure I know, and then I can do that at some point. Maybe a later ep episode, because uh, the things that I'm going to need to take on the better dungeons that I want to do, uh, probably without NPCs, I'd want potions and enchantments, and I've already got good armor and stuff covered, because I have so many diamonds. I was thinking about digging out like a ring around this pond, and then... Well, not what's here. Um, like why did I put the stair there? I really like Minecraft 1.2.5. Some of the more recent updates I've kind of been like pointless and not bothered with it, but especially when all the mods have to update, but 1.2.5 is a pretty good version. Especially with all the different colored wood, I think that's a pretty cool thing. There we go. Just make the Imperial Pond look a bit better. A random piece of dirt, can't tolerate crap. You know, that was probably an Enderman. Yeah. Goats! Ooh, bunnies. I have a bunny on my head. 